How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. <laughs> so, we're a bit more wide awake this time. I hope. I hope I'm not still sleeping. If I am, then there's a big problem here. Hey, could you poke me? I think I... I, I yeah, no, yeah, I, I'm, I'm awake. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, I believe the next thing we gotta do is head over to our world. If I remember correctly, because I believe we need to capture Miss Layla in a Pokeball and just see what happens. <laughs> Layla, use the diction. It's not very effective. <laughs> huh? The door is closed. <laughs> Looks like the shop ain't open yet. I'm sure if we wait here... She'll be along soon. It's time to open up already. Someone's coming. Hi, Myrtle. Oh, hello, Ava. Myrtle, hi. How are you? Are you feeling better now? I am. And it's all thanks to you, Oliver. What are you doing here? Do you need something from the store? Wait a moment. I'll just open up for you. Who's this girl? I feel like... Like you know her from somewhere? Gee, I wonder how. Yes. Ow. <laughs> I don't know how hitting myself this right here, I don't know how that... I don't know why that hurt. <laughs> she looks just like me. Gee, I wonder why. It's like she's my long lost twin or something. She looks much more like me than that stupid old Khalifa. Yeah. I don't think that Khalifa could have been any further off. Hmm? Can she not see me? That's perceptive of you. She can't see you, nor no me neither. Uh, English. <laughs> really? So I'm invisible? What a strange feeling. Yeah. Of course you're invisible. You're from another world, ain't it? Huh? Did you say something, Oliver? You weren't supposed to hear that. Uh, y yeah, yeah. I, I was trying to do the hokey pokey with myself. I, I don't, I didn't, I wasn't sure how to do that. So I was like, you put your right hand in, you put your left hand in, you upside down the hands, and you fold yourself. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> You do the junky pokey head, you slap them all, you all around. That's what it's all about. The junky pokey, what the fudge? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> How come you're here at Miss Layla's store, Myrtle? <laughs> I work here now. What? You work here now? Why wasn't I informed of this? Miss Layla and my mom are friends. And when she heard that I was better, she said I should come work for her. Gee, that's real nice of her. Say, Myrtle, is Miss Layla around? Sure. She's busy training right now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. Well, Miss Layla? Training? I gotta do the junky pokey over this. <laughs> or maybe not yet. That's right. She started running. Is she on a diet? Oh, no. <laughs> no, silly. <laughs> you goofy. She's exercising so she can eat more. Huh? How do you mean? Oh, goodness. Hi. Huh? <gasps> I'm back. Why, if it isn't young Oliver. Hello, dearie. Uh, hi. Good morning, Miss Layla. Well, can't wait any longer. Would you? <gasps> yes, Miss Layla. I'll go get it for you right now. Oh, it's no good. I just can't wait that long. I have some in the store. Yeah? You stay out here and clean some. Clean up something. 
Lily, you do realize you have to pay her for this, right? Why? I never saw anybody so crazy about their favorite food. That's our cue. What was that? Did she say favorite food? Oi, Ollie boy. I bet it's the same as the Khalifa's. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. You're right. Let's go find out what it is. Yeah, we're totally not going to find an addict at all. See you soon, Myrtle. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Cookies? Oh, I mean, I thought it was it's cheese, cheese, but that oh, doesn't look God. like cheese. That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. Uh, are you okay, Miss Layla? You scoff the whole lot if you're not careful. Hurry up and grab some. Sharpish. Okay. Good oh boy. Please, Miss Layla. Could you give me a piece of your trees? Uh, 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 you know I'd do anything for you, dearie, but please. not that. Just oh, no, piece. no, no. You've got a problem, Miss Layla. You remind me of the villain from Pocahontas. It's mine, mine, mine. Who can name what's... Just by those notes, who can name the song that I'm thinking of? It's kind of a shock. It sure is. I had no idea. Don't look so down, Ollie boy. I had no idea she was so... Obsessed. He? It's better than not to go near her when she's eating cheese. I know that now. She's a monster when she eats cheese. She almost pinned the tail on my butt. I am not a donkey. <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> Myrtle? Myrtle? I, I don't know what voice to give her at this point. Sounds like she needs my help. I better go inside. Goodbye now. Uh, well, now we know what to do. Kinda. Jeepers. So what do we do now? Make cheese and give it to the Khalifa. Slayla's store is the only place in town that sells cheese. Oliver! Hi, P. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, hi, P. We kinda need some cheese. Cheese? That's right. It's the Khalifa's favorite food. Who's he talking to? Must be his imaginary friend, Ed, again. Here we flip and go. Hey! Huh? He can make it? Make our own cheese? Yes. With your magic. With your magic. Lots and lots of cheese. But I can't... I don't know how. Yes, you do. Just try. Just try. As easy as one, two, three. Wow. Yes. But do I even have a spell? Yes, you do. It's called secret ingredient. Hey, wait. <sighs> She's gone. Have fun talking to your imaginary friend, did you? Ollie boy? Better than talking to your real friends, was it? Hey. She ain't imaginary. I mean, I might be the only one who can see her right now, but she ain't imaginary. She's about as imaginary as this stick. There is a stick here, I swear. <laughs> huh? Imaginary friend? You mean P? P? Who's that? What do you mean? She was right here. Totally real. Um, I didn't see anything. Or anyone. Maybe only you can see her, Oliver. Really? But how come? Well, maybe it's just like how Myrtle can't see me. But I can see her. Might be right, you know. I've never seen this pea either. Anyway, what did pea say to you, Oliver? Oh yeah, she told me to use my magic to make some cheese. What's that? Make it with magic, you say? Well, she may be too shy to let us see her. But she ain't afraid to stick her neck out, advice-wise. Yeah. You mean it won't work? Nah, man. It'll work. The whole point of magic is to make the impossible possible, ain't it? But I guess it's difficult without the right ingredients, huh? 
Michael, we do have them. You do? Of course we do. Back in our little room. The fountains are milk. You did a fair point. So we use magic to turn the milk from the fountains into cheese? Now that we can do. Teddy, right to early boy. Let's get back to our world, shall we? Yes, let's go straight to the fountains of milk and try it out. They're in the main square. Ah, that was way too strong. I swear I haven't been drinking. It's like, let's go drink some cheese. Um, yeah, we don't drink cheese. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we don't drink cheese. Maybe I'm wrong. Do we? Alright. Back in our moon, and let's go to the fountains of milk. Hey, Pete. Hey, Sapphira, you coming? Or Sapphira, sorry. Drippy's like, Ollie boy, are you talking to your imaginary friends again? Oi, oi, oi. Hey, they aren't imaginary. They're right here. See, I'm, I'm hugging them right now. Ollie boy, you're looking at the wall. No, <laughs> they're not imaginary. I swear it. Now this sounds very familiar, actually. <laughs> so these are the fountains of milk. Gee, is that real milk? For real? Hehe. <laughs> of course. The freshest, creamiest milk there is. And there's so much of it. You could just try... You could just keep trying until you get it right. Keep trying? You think I can't do it, huh? I didn't mean anything by it. Come on. You've got to conjure up some cheese. Focus. Now, do you know how cheese is... Oh my god. Yes. I doubt he knows, but yes. Sure. You heat it. How the hell do you know this? Blimey. Regular cheesemonger you are. This should be cheesy peasy. Then. Okay, I'm going to strangle you for that one, Drippy. All you need is the right spell, ain't it? Sure. Let me take a look. If I recall correctly... This one. Look at that. It's flipping looking. It really is. You're so good at magic, Oliver. I bet you could even make sweets if you put your mind to it. And cakes. Ooh, I could just eat a... Hey, stop that. I'm trying to concentrate. I mean, it's not just you either. Elizabeth over here is poking me in the cheek and it's bothering the crap out of me. I can't focus. All y'all stop. Uh, Ollie boy? There is no Elizabeth here. Yes, there is. She's right here. Along with Frederick over there and Jeremy right in front of my face. Oh, you just need a backward. Uh, Ollie boy? <sighs> oh my gosh. Wow. Whoa. A white ball. Kind of. That's a big thing of cheese and candy and cake. Wow. Can I have the cake? <laughs> Obtained a giant cheese wedge. Look at the flipping size of that mug. And you went and made some sweets at all. That was Esther's fault. Hee <laughs> hee. I bet you wanted some too, though, didn't you? You shouldn't distract somebody when they're trying to cast a spell. Oh, don't be like that. Now we can go and see the Khalifa. Our presence a little on the large side, but I don't suppose it will matter. You're right, it won't. The bigger the better, I reckon. Let's please up with cheese. Uh, okay. A bull? Hey, a bull, can I talk to you? Good day to you all. I can't remember. I can't give you a voice. I'm already running out of voices as it is. Let me have you service. You brought some cheese to give to the Khalifa, Mr. Abul, sir. Cheese? Praise be to the ancients! I had thought there was none remaining in all the land. 
Khalifa just can't get enough of it, huh? Hmm? How did you hear this? That is a, that's a phrase, you dumb nuts! No matter. You are correct. Your Majesty is indeed a great admirer of cheese. And that's many palms. Uh huh. I just got a ding dong. Why did I get a ding dong? I don't know why I got a ding dong. Okay, that was weird. Because I know that messenger rung up on my internet. That was really weird. Okay. She will undoubtedly grant an audience to any who come bearing such gifts. Please, you must follow me quickly. Cool. Uh-huh. Yes, that's the Khalifa. Yeah. That's a no-brainer. Okay. You sound a lot like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Quickly now, young man. Quickly now, young man. Oh my gosh. You need restraint. Um, oh goodness. Delicious GDs. Do you have more for us? Unfortunately, no. Magnanimous Khalifa, if you continue to eat so prodigiously, I fear you may burst. A bull? We are hungry. Your request does not go unheard, Majesty, but I fear for your bovinity's well-being. Yeah. One utterly broken heart. What? But. Yep, she's like broken-hearted. All right. Restraint. Which bit of heart is missing? All manner of weird things can happen. See, what her Majesty's lacking right now is a drop of restraint. Restraint. That's right. And without it, she can't control the urge to stuff her right royal face. We won't be getting any favors out of her until we've sorted this out. You mark my words. Hey, no laughing at her, Johnson. So to find some restraint <laughs> somewhere, huh? That's quick of you, Ollie boy. You have been paying attention after all. Let's go then, shall we? Please, you must do all you can to help her majesty. Uh, okay then. Restraint, huh? Can you think of anyone with a lot of restraint, Esther? Hmm, let me see. There must be someone. We can use the locker to try and look for someone. But this is a big old town. Come on. Let's try shopkeepers. Let's try the shopkeepers first. Shall we? That's a neat idea, Mr. Drippy. People who own the shops know everybody in the town. And they hear all their news, too. They do, do they do, don't they? Great. Let's ask around all the shops then. Nah, I'm gonna ask around one shop because I know exactly which. Hello, uh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, is that so? Well, well, well. So they go. They got into the past, did they? And what did they talk about? Did they know? Okay, keep me posted on what's going on inside. And my payment. Don't worry. You'll get your reward. By the next time we meet, I'll have scored you something decent. Do you mean that you will steal something? No, no, don't be stupid. It's just a figure of speech. Now concentrate on the job at hand, will you? I'm counting on you to be my eyes and ears. Don't let me down. Okay. Hey, Jeremy, what do you think about this? Yeah, I know. He's a little bit weird, isn't he? Ollie boy. What? 
You're talking to your freaking... You're talking to your flippin' imaginary friends again. What about your real ones, eh? Uh, what are you talking about? They're real. Totally. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I know the game basically says ask around, but I kinda, I didn't even look at the map. I knew, I remembered I was supposed to come here in the first place. Hello. Cool. You look troubled. Well, if it's equipped and tough enough to survive the harsh desert environment you're after, you've come to the right place. Uh, actually, we came to ask you something. We need to find somebody with a lot of restraint. But nobody seems to know a person like that. You must be rooking in all the wrong places. Unless I'm raving mad, I know just the person. Oh, you do, do you? Who is it? Please, you have to tell us. A pool of calls? If I, I'm trying to say this with this consistent voice here, it's tough. If I had patience, I'd be crowing around about it all over town. A bull? That's right. A little bird told me quite a story about him. It was a few years ago now. One day, the Khalifa decided out of the blue that she wouldn't be content until she had tasted all the cheeses in the world. Cheese? Because she really is just like Miss Leva, huh? What do you think, Jeremy? <laughs> Ollie boy! Oh, sorry! Without a moment's hesitation, Apu set off to Rook for a mall. Through the forest and across oceans he went. Butted by blizzards and often surviving on little more than a wing and a prayer. But finally he came home to roost. And when he did, it was with a cot piled high with every cheese under the sun. Kablimey! It must have stunk. Now that's what I call restraint. And be goodness. And by goodness does he need it. With a mood stick crowing on him all the time. Crikey, that's impressive. He did all that. Risk his, risk his life and everything. Just so her moosiveness could have a snack. Tidy. I think we found our man, Alibar. Nino, we should go find him right away. Yep, and that we will. Let's go. This might take a while. The movement back and forth is kind of a abrasively annoying, quite frankly. Hey, kid. Bye, kid. Be there yet. Are we freaking there yet? Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Hello? Buddy? Hey bud. Hey bud. Mr. Apul, sir, we found out of, about somebody who with a whole lot of restraint. You did? This is excellent news. You must tell me, who is it? You. Me? But impossible! Not to the slightest, Peter Patience. Look at Hollyboy's locket. It's glowing up a treat. It's scaring the crap out of his infernal... Imaginary friends. Kinda happy about that, otherwise they'd be lingering third wheel. Actually, I'm a lingering third wheel anyway, which is annoying, but still. Would you let us borrow some of your restraint, Mr. Abu? Hmm? Well, I... Uh, of course you may. For her majesty, anything. What must they do? Just hold still. There's nothing to it. Just lay back and think about my moon. Well, get on with the trolley boy. Sure, here he goes. There we go. And that's mine now. Oh boy. Teddy, all done. Already? This is truly enough to restore her majesty to her former glory. Ah, uh, yes. You bet it is. 
You butthole. Mmm, cheesy wheeze. Mountains of delicious cheesy wheeze. All for us. Oh, God. Can we just get this over with? She's got cheese on the flippin' brain now. Even dreams about the stuff. Quick, Ollie boy, magic a better, will you? Yes, sir. Why I wasn't able to do this without interacting with her, I have no freaking idea. But here you go. Uh, that was normal. That that was completely normal. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Ah! Uh, Frederick, get out of the way! No, Ali, but he can handle the crush. Whoa, 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 whoa! Um, are we good? Are we good? Are we good? I think we're good. Do we now? Shadar, that's what. These humble servants made your Majesty's ailing heart whole again. I pray that our beloved Khalifa's most generous appetite has now abated. Well, now, we still wish to enjoy the finer things in life, of course. Yeah. But we have come to feel that a measure of gastronomic restraint may serve to set a good example for our daring subjects. Yeah, no dip. Your words are music to the ears of your people. Al Mamun can return to its former magnificence. Sure. Indeed it can. What even was that? Itching to return to our lake. Munificent well, dang. These humble servants must be rewarded for their services to Al Mamun. Indeed, they should. Boy, is there something you desire? I want my imaginary friends to be proven that they're not imaginary, even though I just called them imaginary. They're not. Yes. Sir. Okay, maybe not that, but still. Well, what is it? We'd like to borrow your ship. Um. Okay. Ship? Ship? Yeah, you heard correctly. Ooh, a little floaty wooty. Yes, of course. But of course you may borrow it. It's I don't. Okay, previous episode, I was hearing too many big words, but now I'm hearing words that don't even make sense. We will write a letter to the captain, ordering him to help you in any way he can. Cool. You will? Gee. Thank you, your majesty. Yes, thank you. Lady, the boat is in the back. But why in the world... Would a dear little thing like you have need of our floaty wealthy? We need to get to Artemia. Or Hamelin. Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, we asked you a question, did we not? Okay, I'll answer. I mean, Frederick here was telling me not to. Same with Elizabeth over there, but... Uh, Okay. You need to find one of the great sages. The great sages? <sighs> yes, we are aware of them. Abu, we know of them, do we not? Well, I hope you know of them. They were kind of big back in the day. Indeed, most learned Khalifa. But little has been heard of such men since the magical arts fell from favor. Why do you seek the great sages, Travenant? 
about that. We need their help. We need their power to defeat Shadar. Yeah, oh boy. <gasps> what? You heard me. Is something wrong? <laughs> we are not unamused. Well, neither am I. But we can see that you speak in tongues. Very well. We will tell you what we know. Oh, boy. You will? I can't wait to hear it. There were once four great sages. Yeah. I understand that one of them was defeated by Shadar. I'm aware of this. Mom. Oh. But we know of one. Who did not perish. I forget his name, but he's the freaking pig prince. He might as well be called that, at least. Well, he lived in the land of Hamlet. Yeah, I know. Detestable and warlike realm. Uh, but he is a handsome young thing. We even keep a pick. That's weird. Crikey, sounds like she's got a bit of a crush on the poor lad. Oh boy. Yeah. So this is one of the great sages, huh? That's a clue and a half, that is, Ollie boy. Says Lucky. A little bit, yeah. You obtained a portrait. Cool. <laughs> now, before you take your leave, we shall teach you some magic to aid you on your journey. Cool. Really? You're a wizard too, your majesty. <laughs> well, not a fully fledged wizard, perhaps, but... Yeah. We royals all know a few select spells. King Tom undoubtedly has a trick or two up his own kingly sleeve. Yeah, and we already learned those tricks. They're not sure that. Is. He taught me some real neat magic. <laughs> How quaint. We hope that you will find our own still neater. Oh, for the love of Pete. Look, I know you guys bicker, but really, that's actually useful. Those are useful for side quests. It's your lucky day, Oliver. Yay! Yeah. May it serve you well. Thank you. Do be careful out there now, will you? Thanks, Your Majesty. No, Jeffrey, shut up. That's rude. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. <sighs> My little friends. No, Drippy, they're not imaginary. They're non imaginary, friend. I swear it. So I guess that's it. Uh. Ah, uh, I see that one side... Oh, gosh. We'll end this video on that side quest. Why not? How I... was Is that new? Did that just pop up? I don't remember seeing that beforehand. Is this, like, the bird-finding one? Yep. Hello. Where could they be? Loitering somewhere along the way, no doubt. Are you waiting for somebody? Hmm? Oh no, I'm not waiting for people. I keep pigeons. It is for them I am waiting. I sent that to deliver messages across the land, but unfortunately several have failed to return. I worry that they may have flown in the coop. Gee, I sure hope nothing bad has happened to them. No, no, this has happened before. They're probably drinking from the milk fountains, but I have messages for them to deliver. Sure, yeah, I'll find them. I think I actually remember where it is, where they are too. There's three. Yeah. 
Leave it to the Lord, High Lord of the Fairies, my lad. Your feathered friends will be back before you can say pigeon pie. Hehe. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Drippy, shut the f up. I think one's in here. I that in the hootie. I don't remember which. No, not in there. Must be the boutique. Because I know it wasn't the Cottermasters. Oh boy. One of them is definitely by the fountains, and the last one? I actually don't remember. Well, glad I came in here anyway. Hey, buddy. Look at that man. This pigeon ain't scared of people at all. Tame as anything he is. Hey, look at his face. Do you think he's trying to tell us something? Yeah. It kinda looks like it kinda looks that way, huh? Well, you know what to do then, don't you, Oliver? So if you use that spell that Khalifa gave you, ain't it? Alright, fine. Nature's tongue. Now speak to me, buddy! Hey, Mr. P Pigeon, the master is waiting for you to come home. You have to go back. Oh, oh, oh. Was it that time? I was miles away. Sorry, I got distracted on my way home. I'll head straight back. Thank you for coming to find me. Oh, oh. That was kind of a poor impression, but whatever. Teddy, one down, two to go. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to find them, though. There's that. My imaginary friends ran off, though, so there's no way I'm using them anymore. I think there's one just... Yeah, over here. Hey, buddy! Go home! Huh, I don't want to fly home yet. I want to play here a little longer. But there are messages that need delivery. You have to go back, little bird. Huh? You scared me, silly. How can you understand me? Who are you? Never mind that. Just go on home. Your master is real worried about you. He is? Huh? But I have to fly so far to deliver his messages. Sure you do. The people need those messages. They're counting on you. Huh? I suppose they are. They always seem so happy to receive them. All right, I'll go back home. Thank you for coming to find me. Ho, ho. Uh, yeah, sure, you're welcome. Just one more to find. I honestly don't remember where the last one is. Oh boy. Cause I'm gonna find so much use for that. This is going to be a situation where I'm going to be like, Oh, F, where's the last one? And then it ends up being like in the most obscure location ever. Is that what's going to happen here? Huh. Actually, no, I think I know exactly where it is. In here. Yep. That was pretty easy. Not too bad. Frederick thinks so too. He's smiling his guts out. I don't know how he's doing that, but he's doing it, so. Huh, I'm too scared to go home. I don't want to be eaten. Huh? Eaten? What do you mean? Holy! You understand me? You're a human. I am. And your master asked me to come find you. You did? Huh. Do you seem angry? Last time I was late, he said he would eat me if I ever did it again. I'm sure he didn't mean it, little buddy. He was probably just angry because you bunked off work, ain't it? Yeah, he seemed awful worried about you. He really wants you to come home. Oh, you really think so? All right, thank you for coming to find me. Oh, oh. Well, that's all three of them. That's all of them. Teddy, let's go back and see Pigeon Boy. Shall we? I bet he'll have a nice thicky for us. Find out in a sec. Ha <laughs> ha, I ran you over. Nah, 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 nah. Hi. 
Oops. I did not mean to talk to you. I meant to talk to you. How can I ever thank you? All my pigeons came home to roost. Thanks to you. Here. I hope this is enough to express my gratitude. Please. You must take it. Okay. I'll take it. I'm pretty damn sure that there aren't going to be any bounties, so... Um... I'll go ahead and walk through the desert, and then I'll meet you guys at the entrance to Castaway Cove at the beginning of the next episode. But for right now, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for an RPG or a game by Bandai Namco or Level 5 that you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Or, if you want to check out the one thing I've done by level 5 to this point so far, I didn't finish it, but I did do a little bit. I click the link across my head here and the train will take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops to this point, click the link in the top right hand corner and it'll take you to any of those. In the meantime though, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!